It's actually a fascinating question that taps into our basic understanding of how electricity works and what protections modern vehicles provide. When a live electric cable falls onto a car, or if the car is struck by lightning, most people's immediate fear is electrocution, or the vehicle bursting into flames. However, the reality is much less dramatic, thanks to the principle of the Faraday cage. A Faraday cage, named after the English scientist Michael Faraday, is essentially a conductive enclosure that blocks external static and non-static electric fields. In simpler terms, when a car is struck by lightning or comes into contact with a live electric cable, the metal body of the car acts like a Faraday cage. The electricity is conducted around the outside of the vehicle and directed to the ground, protecting the occupants inside from being electrocuted. This doesn't mean you are 100% safe in any scenario. The metal frame of the car does an excellent job of conducting the electricity and grounding it. Yet there are scenarios where parts of the current could find pathways that are less predictable, especially if the car is not entirely metal or there are openings. Vehicles are designed with safety in mind, but they're not perfect Faraday cages. For those of us living in regions prone to electrical storms or with a high risk of encountering downed power lines, like my home in Portland, Oregon, where the weather can throw just about anything at us, it's reassuring to understand the physics at play. Here, seeing a storm brewing doesn't just mean grabbing an umbrella. It's about knowing how to stay safe in all scenarios, including when you're in your car. If you find yourself in a situation where a live cable falls onto your car, the best advice is to stay inside the vehicle and wait for help. Exiting the vehicle could put you at risk of completing a circuit between the car and the ground, which could lead to electrocution. As for lightning strikes, they are rare, but sitting in a car, with its doors and windows closed, is actually one of the safer places to be thanks to the protective shell of the vehicle. Remember, while the science behind these phenomena is solid, anomalies can occur. Always exercise caution and follow safety protocols in situations involving electricity. Stay safe and grounded, both literally and figuratively.